child, you were in Northern California, your father, PhD at Stanford, and then you went back to Pakistan and you came back here for university. When I was growing up in America, ages three to nine, I didn't know any other Pakistani kids. And when I was back in Pakistan at age nine, I didn't know anybody else who'd been living in America. You know, I had lots of cousins and plenty of friends, but they none of them shared that experience. Um, and when I went to college, almost none of my friends in college were Pakistani. I mean, I had a bunch of good friends from Pakistan studying at other colleges that I would get together with on Thanksgiving and stuff. But at the college that I attended, I didn't really make, you know, I had, had maybe you know one woman in my class who was a good buddy who was Pakistani, but that was pretty much it. So um, I've always felt, you know, able to, I suppose, integrate myself into worlds. I can get around and people don't know you know, chameleon-like, I can sort of, you know, s slip into situations. So that means I look at the world around me as a kind of perpetual outsider, but an outsider who can also fit in. And, and having read that you grew up kind of a fan of sci-fi TV, are there, are there, are you excited about the start of new Star Wars movies are coming out? Excited about that? Anything like that? Or My heart was so broken by episodes one to three. <laughs> you know, it's like, uh, um, I mean, to be honest, actually, basically, the whole thing rests on the first two films that came out, you know, Star Wars and The Empire Strikes Back. Uh -huh. Return of the Jedi was already going in right. a pretty bad direction. Right. <laughs> I really enjoyed the Battlestar Galactica TV series when it ran. I thought that was very good. Um, Our cameraman, huge fan of that series. Okay. So, you know, uh, I thought that was very good. And I think, interestingly enough, after a long period where fantasy was great in books and pretty crap on screen, um, and sci-fi was, you know, had, 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 did have good sci-fi even in books also, but was, was dominant in the screen form. We're now seeing a period where fantasy that you're doing pretty well on screen. I like, I, I like Game of Thrones a lot. Um, I really, really enjoyed uh, the Tolkien adaptations, the first three, I mean, the Lord of the Rings films. I haven't yet seen The Hobbit. So something is happening in the fantasy world as well, uh, screen-wise, and I'm excited about that. Uh, you mentioned that you know your father now with two children. How has it changed uh, your your process in terms of it as a writer, or is it? I mean, is it better, or worse, the same, or just different? It's just, just different. Um, I think uh, children, having children, and living. I mean, living in Pakistan with my parents and my children um, has reintroduced me to multi generational living after about two decades of being sort of mono generational. My 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 twenties and thirties were like a typical New York or London resident, um, I live with people my age, and my life was people my age. And now, once again, I'm spending time with people in their 70s or even 80s, and kids who are 10 months old or three years old. And so that's more like the way I grew up. I think the new novel really is um, something I only could have written because of being back in that multi-generational context and feeling connected to old and very young people at the same time. My name is Mohsin Hamid and you're watching Are You Entertainment?